Setting the clutch cable slack is not only easy to do, it's necessary if you want your clutch to work properly and last a long time. We'll show you how to set your clutch lever free play in this video from the MC Garage. For your clutch to work correctly, there has to be the proper amount of slack in the cable. If there's too little slack, the clutch plates won't be fully pressed together when the lever is out and you might get clutch slip. If that starts to happen, you're gonna glaze your clutch plates and then you're gonna have to replace them. If there's too much cable slack, you won't get full disengagement when you pull the lever in. That's gonna make it hard to shift and the bike might creep when you're sitting at a standstill with the transmission in gear. To check the free play, you're going to need a tape measure or a vernier caliper and you're going to need a cold engine. That's because hot clutch plates will expand slightly and throw your measurement off. Typically, you're gonna measure from the end of the lever to the grip or between the back of the lever and the lever perch, but you're gonna to wanna to check your workshop manual for the specific protocol and measurement on your bike. As a rule, three to four millimeters is a good goal, and generally speaking, it's better to have too much slack than too little. If you need to adjust the slack, there are two places to do it. You've got a barrel adjuster up on the handlebar and then a set of lock nuts down at the engine for bigger changes. Try working with the barrel first, and if you can't get the right amount of slack, screw it all the way into the perch and then turn the lock nuts down at the engine to bring the free play into spec. Keep in mind that for maximum leverage and ease of use, you want to maintain an 80 to 90 degree angle between the clutch arm and the cable. So that's how you check and adjust your clutch lever free play. Pretty easy, right? And because it is so easy, once you've done it with a ruler or a caliper a few times, you should be able to adjust it entirely by feel. In any case, you're gonna wanna reference your manual to see what the maintenance interval is, though, again, as a rule, it's about every thousand miles. And while the free play spec is obviously important, it's okay to stray from the spec and adjust the slack to suit your hand size or your preference for engagement point or lever reach. Just make sure that if you do that, the clutch can still fully engage and disengage when the engine's hot. There you go, another fundamental back to basics video for you guys. I'm sure there are gonna be some more experienced viewers out there that are wondering why we're covering such obvious, simple topics, but hey, this stuff isn't obvious to everyone and nobody is born knowing this stuff. That's why MC Garage exists, to give people the information and the knowledge they need to better understand and maintain their motorcycles. So, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll subscribe, and until next time, ride safe.